So I think more people should attempt the step probability questions. They're quite accessible, uh, and I also really like probability, so I might be a bit biased. Here's question 12 from step 1, 2016. We've got uh, Alice tosses a fair coin twice, and Bob tosses a fair coin uh, three times. Calculate the probability that Bob gets more heads than Alice. So I think the sensible starting point here is just to write down the distributions uh, for Alice and for Bob. So for Alice here, uh, if this is the number of heads that Alice gets, we've got a one quarter chance of no heads, just a half times a half, uh, a quarter chance of uh, two heads, and that must leave one half uh, for one head, or it's two times a half times a half. And for Bob, we've got zero, one, two, or three. Uh, so we've either got to have all three being tails, that would be one eighth, all three being heads would also be one eighth. And then by symmetry, uh, we've got uh, three quarters left for here, and the probability of one head must be the same as the probability of two heads by symmetry. So these are both equal to three eighths, or you could say they're both equal to you know, 3 choose 2 times a half squared times a half as a sort of binomial probability uh, if you want to, but either way uh, you get those probability distributions. So the probability uh, that uh, Bob gets more heads than Alice, I could write uh, pretty succinctly as probability is B greater than, uh, greater than A here, uh, and for B to be bigger than A we just have to have a few different cases. Right, so it could be that uh, Bob gets three heads, um, and then it doesn't actually matter what what Alice gets. I mean, I could write. I'm going to write here probability that A is less than or equal to two, but uh, that's just any of the outcomes. And um, you know, we can write these separately because clearly they're they're independent, right? The probability of these two things happening is just the product of those probabilities. Um, another way it could happen is that the prob is that Bob gets two heads, and Alice gets less than or equal to one head. Uh, and we could also have that uh, Bob gets one head and Alice gets no heads. Okay, so I could just now write down all of these uh, probabilities we, from our probability distributions here. This one is one eighth. Um, as we said, this one is just one. Uh, probability that B equals two is three eighths. And the probability that A is less than or equal to one, that's a quarter plus a half. So that's uh, three quarters. Uh, we've got three eighths here and uh, one quarter here. So we just work all these uh, numbers out uh, and add them together. So I've got four plus nine plus three over 32, which is uh, 16 over 32, which is equal to one half. So that's uh, part one done. So part two is quite similar. This time Alice tosses uh, three times and Bob tosses four times, still fair coins. And same question, probability that Bob gets more heads than Alice. So we've got a successful strategy from the first part. We'll just do the same thing again with a slightly more complicated setup. So this time uh, Alice's uh, probability distribution, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, is just uh, the same as the probabilities that we already worked out uh, for Bob. And now Bob's probability distribution, this time he can get 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, uh, but these are still all binomial probabilities. And in fact, if you think about uh, all the binomial probabilities here, like for, let's say, for this first one, um, for 1 uh, here, it's going to be 4 choose 1 times 1 half times 1 half uh, cubed from the binomial distribution. Um, but actually, because it's a fair coin, we, you know, this one will have a half squared and half squared, so that should all going to be a half to the power of four times the binomial coefficients, the relevant binomial coefficients. So, uh, if you think about uh, Pascal's triangle for that row, we've got one four six four one, and two to the four is sixteen, so it's one sixteenths, four sixteenths, six sixteenths, four sixteenths, and one sixteenth. You can work them out individually if you want. Um, now, uh, and you know, similarly here, we had the previous row of um, Pascal's triangle 1, 3, 3, 1, all over 8. Okay, so we want the same uh, idea as before anyway. We want the probability that B is greater than A. Uh, so this time, that could be that uh, B equals 4. And again, that would 
allow a to be anything here, or we could have the probability that b equals 3 times the probability that a is less than or equal to 2, plus the probability that b equals 2 times the probability that a is less than or equal to 1, plus the probability that b equals 1 times the probability that uh, a equals 0. And again, it's just a question of reading these off now from our distributions. So 1 16th plus uh, 4 16 times now a less than 2, that's 1 plus 3 plus 3, so that's 7 8 uh, Probability that b equals 2. Here we've got uh, 6 16 a less than or equal to 1 is 4 8 We've got 4 16 here and uh, 1 8 here. So if we work these out, that's um, we're going to put them all over 16 times 8, which is 128. So this one is uh, 8 plus 28 plus 24 plus 4 divided by 128, which gives us 64 divided by 128, which is a half. Again, same answer as in part 1. And then we look at part 3. And actually, the question really here is in the second part of the uh, of the, of, of the paragraph, it says that Alice tosses a fair coin n times and Bob tosses a fair coin n plus 1 times. So we've just, uh, this, is, this is going to be similar to the problems we've just solved where we had uh, in the first question n equals 2 and then the second question n equals 3. Um, now we're going to express the probability that Bob gets more heads than Alice in terms of these defined quantities and then we'll generalize the result of parts 1 and 2. Uh, i.e. extend it to a, a more general case for any n rather than just the particular cases of n. So the result we're trying to aim for clearly here is, you know, we've got a half for both of the previous results. So we're clearly looking to show that this is equal to one half for all values of n. That's the only sensible generalization we can get based on just those two answers. Now P1 is defined as the probability that they get the same number of heads when they toss the same number of coins. So when they both toss uh, n coins. And uh, P2 is the probability that Bob gets more than Alice uh, when they uh, both toss the same number of coins. Okay, so um, so the first thing for us to uh, to, to notice um, is that uh, so let's write let's say we, we might need some notation here as well. So let's say toss uh, let's say they they toss uh, n times each. Okay, and we'll have a is the number of heads for Alice and b can be the number of heads uh, for Bob. Okay. And you'll see why it's important I'm defining these a bit more carefully than I did in the previous questions, because we're going to have, we've got these two different situations, right? We've got one where they toss the same number of coins and one where Bob tosses once more, right? But in this situation, okay, we clearly have that the probability that uh, a equals b plus the probability that a is greater than b plus the probability that b is greater than a must be equal to one because these are all the different possibilities. Either they toss, they get the same number, uh, or they, uh, or Alice does more than Bob, or Bob does more than Alice. Okay. Now this one here is what we've been told to call p1. Um, probability that Bob gets more than Alice is this one. That's what we've been told to call p2. And this last one, if you think about it, because the coins are fair and they're tossing the same number of coins, then it's a totally symmetric problem. That means the probability that Alice is going to get more coins than Bob is the same as the probability that Bob will get more coin will get more heads than Alice. So we can also have to say that this one is equal to P2. So we've got an equation here in P1 and P2, which is that P1 plus 2 times P2 is equal to 1. Right, let's leave that there for a second, and we'll combine that with looking at the case, uh, you know, uh, with... Uh, n plus 1 uh, tosses for Bob, right? So let's say now suppose uh, Bob uh, tosses n plus 1 times and let's let b primed be the number of heads uh, that Bob gets, okay? Uh, so b primed for n plus 1, b for just n tosses, right? So let's think about, uh, now let's, what we want, what we're interested in is the probability that b primed, the number of heads Bob gets in n plus 1 tosses is greater than uh, the number of heads that Alice gets in just n tosses. Okay, And if you think about it, this can happen in a couple of ways. Um, it could be that actually when we just look at Bob's first n tosses without this additional one, he's already got more than Alice. Okay, So 
that would just be saying that uh, that this this probability uh, of of b greater than a. Okay, so he doesn't need the m plus one toss, or it might be that he does need the m plus first toss. And the only way that happens is if they're equal after n tosses. So that's if the probability that a is equal to b times the probability that the n plus first toss is uh, a hedge. Okay, which is just one half because it's a fair coin. Right. So actually, this thing we're looking for here probability that b prime is greater than a is equal to this probability that b is greater than a, which is p2, plus the probability uh, that uh, a equals b uh, times one half, so that's p1 times one half. Now, this is, we haven't quite got this as equal to a half, but p1 and p2 are related by this formula. So uh, if I were to rearrange this, uh, for example, I could make uh, p1 the subject, then p1 is equal to 1 minus 2 times p2. Okay, so I could substitute that in here, and we would get p2 plus 1 half times 1 minus 2 times p2. So that's p2 plus 1 half minus p2, which is equal to 1 half. And so we've shown that this result is true for any value of n. Regardless of the value of n, the probability that Bob gets uh, more tosses in n plus 1, uh, more heads in n plus 1 tosses than Alice gets in n tosses, is always equal to 1 half. That's the generalization that we were looking for.